Wait a minute. I forgot to bring this up. Do you guys know that one of my fantasies is coming true this week? No, it's not reading copy correctly. Uh, there's two bankers being put to death in Vietnam. Let me look this up here. Death, Vietnam. Vietnamese bankers sentenced to death for fraud. Here we go. This is what this is what should have been happening in this country in 2008. Like, it already should have, like, there should have been like, at least 100 bankers dead. You know what you should do is, like, smother them with cash. <laughs> no, what you do is you tie them to the mast of their yacht or their sailboat, right? And then you put a bunch of cash at their feet, all the cash that they stole. <laughs> you just light it on fire, right? Like, Jonah, fuck it up. Um... Let me see if I can find where the fuck is it. Here we go. Yahoo Free News. Let's go here. A Vietnamese former banker and his business associates have been sentenced to death for their part in the embezzlement of $25 million. State media has reported. $25 million bucks and you get the goddamn death sentence. All right? So I figured that the people at AIG, they ought to have like... What happened to William Wallace at the end of Braveheart? Whatever that fucking thing is. Well, they just pull out your fucking entrails like machete. Um, the pair were among 11 defendants in the nine-day trial in Ho Chi Minh City. State media reported on Saturday in a case that has heightened Vietnam's effort to show it is stamping out corruption in the face of widespread public anger over the issue. That's the only part of this story I don't like. Uh, the fact that they're trying to make an example. So now I think that they just got a couple of Ollie Norths here. They're going to kill two people or 11 and be like, see, we're doing something. And then it goes right back. Now, I don't know what politicians make in Vietnam, but if it's anything like over here, you know, the bankers put them in office. So I have no fucking idea. But anyways, this is the deal. Vu Quoc Hao, 58, the one-time chief of the finance subsidiary of the state-owned Vietnam Agribank and building firm boss Dang Van Hai, 56, were sentenced to death on Friday, according to state television. They were given the sentence for embezzlement of assets, mismanagement, abuse of power, and fraud, causing serious consequences to the state. Sound familiar, everybody? I just did that when I hated last week. Sound familiar? Um, the other nine defendants were jailed for up to 14 years for violating state economic regulations, the report added. The group was accused of embezzling more than $25 million of state money between April 2008 and March 2009 by falsifying financial leasing contracts, according to reports on state media. Vietnam is rated one of the world's most corrupt nations, and graft is a top concern for many ordinary people. The communist government has vowed to clamp down on the issue. There will be strict punishment for state... Ca uh, I'm not going to read the rest of this shit. I'll spare you guys. I read it pretty well up to that point. Um, so there you go. There you go. See that? It doesn't matter what kind of government you have. A democracy, communism, socialism, dictatorship. The fucking bankers are running shit. And they need to be put down in the fucking street. And replaced with honest people. You know? Like some of those fine folks that I met out there in the heartland. That would be great. I would actually go to the execution. As fucking morbid as that is. You know? I would actually go there. 